So I was editing a video in Premiere like always, but then something unusual happened. It crashed. So we broke up, we, we went our separate ways, but don't worry guys, I already found someone new, an extremely powerful AI tool that will change the life of every video editor. This tool is called Runway. It's a website with a lot of AI tools, but what I'm most interested in is the Gen 1 tool. This thing just blew me away. So just for one time, I have to make a video about this on a Premiere channel. Now what we can do with this right here is simply drag a video into the tool, like this clip from some joggers that I found on Storyblocks. Now it's going to happen next is out of this world. Once it's done, you will see the style reference. This is where all the magic happens. Now on top, you can see three tabs, image, presets, and prompt. Let's check out the presets first. Now what do we have here? Oh, clay motion. I wonder what that will do to my video. No, just select it and click generate. Wow, that looks amazing. Imagine if we had to do this in Premiere. Is that even possible? And look at these juicy settings here. I wonder what they do. Let's increase the style strength. The more you crank it up, the more it looks like the reference effect. This is the difference between a 50% strength and a 100% strength. Now it looks like it's supposed to be for children, but it looks more trippy. All right, I wonder what it can do with a waterfall. That would be so hard to reimagine, right? And damn, it's indeed hard. It doesn't look like the waterfall at all anymore. What the hell is even that? So there are limitations guys. Avoid using objects with lots of detail. The AI could have trouble recognizing what's going on. And since you only get 100 seconds for free, you gotta be careful with what you upload. Now I did try the Cloudscape effect with this city video and I gotta say, it does look very nice. Now let's take a look at the seed settings. Every time you click the generate button, Runway will create another effect because it uses a random seed. But if I want the same effect across multiple clips, I can click the randomize button to lock the seed number. That way you can make an entire movie with the same style. Let me put some transitions in between the clips that we just generated. Oh yeah, I don't have Premiere anymore. Maybe if I ask very gently if I can use the timeline just for one night, please? No? Ah, software. They're all the same. You know, me and Runway, we will figure something out. Now let me download some more stock videos from Storyblock so that we can test Runway's limits. Oh, and I have this skate clip where we're gonna do something really cool with. Storyblocks is also sponsoring this video, by the way, you can find over a million high quality royalty free stock assets and you can download an unlimited amount of those. All of them in HD or 4K resolution. You know, just type in whatever you need and bam, a page of endless clips ready for you to download. You can spice up your videos with overlays, layers, effects, or funny green screen videos. And stop wasting hours of making text animations because here you can download beautiful, unique presets and templates for Premiere Pro and After Effects as well. And oh boy, were those good times. I really miss Premiere. And you can even download pre-made motion graphic templates such as lower thirds, intros, whatever you need. And everything from the entire library is accessible right within Premiere or even within After Effects through their very intuitive the plugin. All of the assets are downloaded straight into your project, that way you stay organized and you're not distracted anymore by going away from Premiere. And I'm also very proud to have my own landing page. I've uploaded my own footage, such as some travel videos, some car crashes are in there as well, and a couple of other projects that I worked on, and you can actually download them. They are for you guys. I shot them all in a lock color profile so that you have the most control when color grading the footage. Now, did you know that on many stock websites, you need to pay an expensive price per clip that you want to to download, well that is where Storyblocks is different. They offer the freedom of an unlimited library for one set price that you can pay monthly or annually. There are no hidden fees, never. I've been using Storyblocks for years now and I can truly recommend it to any creative. So take back your creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty free stock library and tools today. Just go to storyblocks.com forward slash Premier Basics or simply click the first link in the description down below. And now let's go back to Runway. And what is this? Guys, you can open upload an image as a style reference. Here is this skate clip that I found earlier and I want to put them on the moon. I actually found another text to image generator from DeepAI. Just type in something like skateboarding on the moon and click on generate. I hope this works, that would be so cool. Well, upload the picture of the AI generated skater and select it. Now click generate. And wow, I did not expect it to be this good. Take that premiere. Let's take a look at the advanced settings now. Maybe we can make it look even better. The first slide 
further adjusts how consistent the structure of the video will be. But be aware, the higher the value, the bigger the difference between the original video and the outputs. With the weight, you can choose how much runway will make your video look like the input style. And the higher you put this, the more your video will look like the generated image. Then the frame consistency. If you put the value below one, it will give you a decreased frame consistency across time, like you can see here on the left. Now when you put it higher than one, you increase how closely the frames relate to each other. As you can see, this will make it look more smooth and not so flickery anymore. And I guess by enabling effect foreground only, the effect will only be applied to the foreground. Yeah, and the background will be untouched. Hmm. Now it did affect the background, but the result is actually pretty cool. Now let's see what effect background can now do. Damn, that is pretty good. And now the last tab, I can't wait to try out the text prompt. We don't need anything at all right now. You just type in whatever you need and Runway will make a video from that. So here I have a video of the earth. Let's ask Runway to make it look like a cake. All right, this is gonna be so cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, it just replaced the earth with a round cake. All right, let's try something else. This one is really crazy. Crazy, so I hope it'll work. I'll ask it to put this cute cat into space. Ah, snap. I'm out of credits. I I've been playing too much with Runway. Oh, please, Premier, come back to me. I need you. What? Oh, you want me to stop being angry at you every time you crash? Okay, I can do that. Now, apart from Runway, there are five other AI tools that you should be using right now if you don't want to run behind. You can find it out in the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, Stay creative. Shit!